Hi everyone, I'd like to take you through a bit of 3D modeling in AutoCAD. I'd like to explain to you how you can work in um, multiple planes and then do a demonstration in a triangle to show you how, can, how you can use the AutoCAD tools to work in 3D. So just as, as an example, when I first came into contact with uh, working in 3D, this is one of the little designs that I was working on. Essentially, it's a soda water collector that is working on some wheel and some cables or, or string. And that is, in theory, connected to a water-driven container where the idea would be to fill up this container with water in the morning um, and then let it drop, providing a um, a driving force to rotate the solar water collector and keep it in place as the day wears on. Um, and this would then, the rate of flow uh, from this water tank would then determine the rate of turn of the solar water collector. So at least it could sort of approximate the um, position of the sun throughout the day. But what interested me very much of this exercise was how do we use a pulley like you can see over here and a cable and how do we manage to draw this or in insert this in 3d within autocad so here you can see that the cables are inclined and the pulleys are inclined in 3d in multiple planes so as soon as you understand how to do the triangle you also see how this is possible for you maybe you're designing yachts and some rigging or any other sort of 3d operation that you need to uh, perform so with that just to show you where it might fit into your work let's have a look at a, a very simple example here's a triangle now the triangle when you look from the sides has been inclined in multiple planes looking from the top it just looks like a normal triangle and what we'd like to do is to rotate this back into place I'm going to use not the gizmo to rotate although you can but I'm just going to use the old commands that we've got the world UCS we can flip the UCS around the X, the Y and the Z axes we can define the UCS by three points so for starters what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to move this point of the triangle remember what I want to do is I want to transform this triangle onto the uh, XY plane the world X or the global X XY plane so I'm going to move this triangle from that see my running object snaps endpoint okay so move the triangle from the endpoint to um, and then I'm going to select the XY filter to choose the same XY position and the Z will be zero. Okay, so if I draw a line from this endpoint, I should find that the delta Z is zero, which it is. So in other words, that point is now on the zero zero. Let me demonstrate that for you differently. If I draw it from the zero 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 point and I look from the side that point of the triangle is now on the zero plane All right. the next thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to rotate say this line over here at the bottom so that this point is also on the XY plane so I go to the side view I have to rotate about the Z so I'm going to flip the axis about the X by 90 and place it on that endpoint so I can see where it is remember if you want to see the UCS where you are drawing you go to its settings um, and there it's show UCS icon at origin 
Okay, so that's where the UCS is, that's where the line appears. And then I'm going to rotate. It's a normal rotate command, rotate the triangle from that endpoint. Then I'm going to use the reference subcommand to give the initial vector. And then I'm going to switch on F8 so I stay um, orthogonal. So this bottom line there of the triangle is now lying flat on the global XY plan. The next thing that I need is a UCS that is aligned with this bottom line so that I can flip the other corner down onto the XY plan. To use the three point UCS command, that's the origin. Then the next line that you indicate is the X axis. And now what we need is some other point in the plan that's going to give us the Y direction. Now I'm not choosing the point of the triangle because that will incline the Y axis to the global coordinate axis, which is the one that we're currently in. I'm just going to choose any old point on the axis. And what I can do next is I can go to the view cube settings and say that I'd like to orient the, the, the cube to the current UCS. So that's what it would look like like this. And if I look from the side, there I can see on my Y axis it's horizontal, even though the triangle is going at some different angle. So again, because I'm rotating around the Z, I now have to rotate around the Y to get my Z axis coming out of the page. And now that I'm rotating about the Z, I can just rotate the triangle again from the endpoint. Again, I use the reference subcommand. Sorry, let me do that again. Rotate the triangle about the endpoint. Reference subcommand, the origin initial vector, press F8 and come in horizontally. Then I'm going to reset the view cube settings not to orient it to the current UCS but to the world instead. Change my UCS to the world, have a look from the top and there is the triangle now rotated onto the plane. How would I know that? Let's explode it and have a look at the delta Z that we find within the individual lines. Remember the explode command now looks like a little box that's exploded. This line, delta Z, zero. That line, delta Z, zero. And that line, delta Z, zero. So if you do this in reverse, and you want to place objects at some other angle, inclined to the plan in two directions, or to the world UCS, that is a good way to start. And then you can also draw rigging on yachts or elements like you find over here with the solar water collector being driven by a water container and maybe giving some water to your vegetable garden. I hope you've enjoyed the short demonstration and that you have a good week ahead. And remember to contact us here at Micrographics if you need help with modeling in 3D in AutoCAD.